My husband and I did not grow up as farmers. My husband is an engineer and I am a teacher, but when you're determined and motivated to live a better life, then you know you find ways to make it happen. So this is technically the first hemp crop in Appalachia. This sort of arc from 2014 to, you know, feeling like we were in the black market, right? I mean, we were quite literally outlaws. And then the passage of the farm bill now, I mean, I have a bank account at Wells Fargo. In 14 and 15, I was nervous about getting arrested. Now I'm worried about farmers. My name is Kathleen Butler, and I own Butler Farms with my husband Lane in Paris, Kentucky. We are the first in the United States to grow hemp fiber for Patagonia. We read every book. We went to every conference. We got ourselves a mentor. You know, we just did a seed to sow. We literally planted it a half inch in the ground, seven inches apart, and just let the rain and the sun do their job. And now we have hemp that's 15 feet tall. My husband and I don't own a tractor. I knew that there are a lot of tobacco farmers in our area that had a lot of this equipment, but they weren't using it anymore. Tobacco is fading out, so a lot of Tobacco farmers are looking for work. Okay. I know this day was coming. <laughs> you know, this past year, our commissioner approved over 42,000 acres because he wanted Kentucky to, again, be the number one state in the United States producing hemp. I mean, the things that we need to happen to really grow this industry are happening. It's important because it was asked for and because the farmers were willing to do it. What we need is consumers and businesses to understand this is an opportunity you start realizing how much carbon we could sequester per acre if we were growing this properly. If we just acted right, you know, did what we call good work instead of easy work, I mean, we could make a huge difference in, you know, a short amount of time. You know, now we have to do all the work that we talked all this smack about how we were gonna do it and change the world, and now we gotta actually put the, <laughs> the hoe in the, in the row, you know? I think every farmer's hope is to have financial freedom. You know, the farm is your legacy. You know, I wanna leave this farm to our children one day. Because of the hemp, our farm will be paid off by 2021. I love my kids so much, and I know that they're proud of their mom and dad. I think with hemp being such a viable crop, that it's just gonna always have a future. You know, hemp could just ultimately change the world. As long as we do it in a sustainable way and not just always the quick and the easiest way, my children could be growing hemp in their generation as well.